Hello everyone, happy Monday, and welcome back to the Cozy Moth Cafe. I'm your local barista, Deanna, and we're back with more Winds of Anthos. Uh, but right up top, I want to thank Lauren Lilu, uh, JB Dwarf, for following me over the weekend, and Super Shag 21 for following early this morning. Uh, I really appreciate it, thank you so much. <sighs> so I believe at this point we're just doing fetchy quests. Um, until we can build our, a bigger barn. What do we have cooking? Cheese! That's four cheeses. I think we need five cheeses. We do need five cheeses. And then we'll be able to make mushrooms au gratin for the Aurora Festival. Ooh, we have lots of stuff. Oh, right! We were looking for a ruby and we didn't find it. That was what we were doing last Friday. Oh, well, I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Hope you got rest if you wanted to get rest. And I hope you got stuff done if you wanted to get stuff done. I, for one, had a good weekend. Oh. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that necessarily. I, for one, had a very nice weekend. I saw some friends. Hello! Hello, JB Dwarf. Welcome to the chat. I appreciate you being here. Don't worry, buddy. I got you. What's on our list to do? Oh right, we have crops in other areas. Whoops, I knew I was gonna forget that over the weekend. Weep. I believe we have some in Zimograd and Herbstburg. Or do we not need more? We might not need more. Oh, a cutscene, a cutscene is happening. Oh, a cutscene with Lena. Hello, Lena. Are you happy that I gave you all those crystals? Because you're a crystal girl, apparently? Ooh, she's giving us pie. <laughs> she's asking if we need furniture repaired and also if we want pie. Well, I guess that makes sense. All right, yeah, okay. This is just actually giving you good advice. I do think you're kind. I actually do. You're actually, you're very sweet. It's gonna be a heck of a heck of a heck of a travel for you to come. 
A dream neighbor? Yes, someone who comes over and checks on your furniture and gives you pie? Yes, no, absolutely. No, I'm not- don't, don't joke. Come check out my furniture. But it would be a bit of a travel for you. Oh, she's got sniffles. Go see Nikolai. Fresh off the grill? Ma'am, I don't think you understand how pie works. I don't- I no longer trust your cooking. Where's my reindeer? Where is Lissa, dear? I guess while I'm up here. Oh no, I did! I started growing strawberries here. That's what I was doing. I was trying to grow white berries, which sound like they should be a winter variant of strawberries. Oh, you haven't tried the method of just, like, slinging your watering can in a direction? Uh, it's very effective. <laughs> There's my baby. There's my precious baby. Were you talking to your friends? Alright, oh, it's... The field here is, like, distraction. Wow, one weekend happened. I don't remember anything. <gasps> rice. Okay, that's all the rice we need. For the... The music festival is what we needed rice for. All right, let's go see Doc, our favorite child doctor. A bunch of math scribbled on this steno pad in front of me, like I'll remember what any of it was supposed to be for. Oh, right. A letter. A sale. The restaurant's having a sale. You want barley again? Dude. Tomorrow, we'll be able to upgrade our barn. Nope, not that. Yay, wheat. <laughs> I 
That's <laughs> or else you can't escape the ads. No, they mail them straight to your house. I've never seen the mailman, but I have to presume he exists. We've theorized it must be the Pony Express. Well, I guess we'll just chop down some trees and try and get the desert fence built. So if we can get the desert fence built, then we can maybe get a desert hibiscus or two. Hello, ponies. And then we can fix a bridge. We need like 210, that's 90. Oh, hi guy. Thank you. Hundo. Ah, oh, there's, the there's the sheep. One of those sheep will be ours someday. Unfortunately, not today. And we need to acquire a sheep because the fisherman desires a uh, sheep wool to make a new fishing line, which seems ineffective, but you know, he's the master tackleman, not me. So what would I know? One twenty, okay. Hello. Thank you, sir. Thirty. My math right? I might be mathing wrong. It'll grow back. It's fine. <laughs> 150. Okay. No, I was mathing correctly. Hello, sheeps. Look, sometimes some things must be sacrificed in the name of progress. The progress is me getting a sheep. all technically homeless like uh this guy just lives behind my house what you got wheat <laughs> but if you really want to you can queue up uh in the arms of the angels by sarah mclaughlin <laughs> Oh, they could be the male people. I never considered that. Time to go see my purple friend. Decentralized fairy mail. It's my quest log. Okay, I don't really know where those are. Working on it. I guess I could go fishing. Oh, right, Brendan. You want me to make you breakfast like you're incapable of doing it yourself. Tilapia. Working on it. 
I need silver and a ruby. Really? Oh, well, I guess if I'm up here. I'll just regain my stams. And then we'll go jump into the mine and I can uh, pass out again. Because that's apparently what we do when we go into the mines in this, in this stream. There is a helpful cave friend to drag me home. Yes, it's the harvest goddess. She's small and she yells at me. However, I think she's also got this weird relationship with my child doctor friend that I don't know about. Because every time they're in the same cutscene, they're like, oh yeah, remember when we talked about that? And I'm like, you two... Talk? Why? <laughs> Do you guys hang out without me? Okay, you go back into barn, sweetheart. Hmm. Maybe I'll go here instead. Absolutely, she does. You can't convince me otherwise. I don't have anything to eat, but I do have plenty of stamina. I'll just go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay. Stairs. No, go down the stairs. It's gonna be one of those days, I just know it. Glass. Ooh. Dang it. Nope. Garnet. Stairs. Ooh. What? When I'm not looking for it, all I find is silver. The second I start to be like, oh, I need it for this, it's impossible to find. Agate. So if you want to know the deal with the Harvest Goddess, the deal with the Harvest Goddess is that 10 years before the start of this game, uh, a volcano erupted. And once we're not in the mines, I'll show you the volcano. It appears to still be active. And she used all of her power and all the power of her little Harvest Sprite familiars to put walls around the cities so they wouldn't be destroyed by lava. Now, it's my job to sort of go around. And then they used all their power and went to sleep for 10 years. Which sounds great, honestly. 
But now it is apparently my job, for some reason, to fix everything. We have woken all of the harvest sprites up from their naps. Uh, and currently, when we go into town, I'll show it, but there's a star rating essentially on the top left side of the screen where that's the culture rating of each town. And the higher it is, the more powerful the harvest sprite is. And it's our job to sort of fix the towns enough that those go up. Stairs. The child doctor is our friend from childhood. I don't know how old they're supposed to be. Or why they're a doctor. Or why they're Doc Junior when I've heard of no docs. There's only Doc Junior. And I'm 80% sure Doc Junior is a robot. Oh, it's quite late. I didn't find what I was looking for. Oh? Damn it. Okay, well. So this is where we started, Langtonbury. It's sort of like the spring town. This is Vare, and I love them. You have Zimmergrad, which is winter, with their Sprite Himes. Herbsburg, which is fall, with their guy Autumnus. Occasionally we call him Fallbert. A desert. And Lilikala, which is sort of summer, and their spray Aestis. Also, they're right next to the active volcano, which is here. Do I have anything worth selling? Nothing that doesn't need to be refined. No, I did put everything away. And then we sleep by staring blankly into the ceiling. Shoes on, totally dressed on top of the covers. <gasps> the equestrian challenge, all right. This is the harvest goddess. She's small. She likes strawberry jam, telling me about the weather and informing me of my failures. This is the last of the grass we need. Hooray. <laughs> well, it's always like, oh, you passed out on me. Don't, don't work yourself too hard. But the reason I've passed out is because I've fallen into like three pitfalls in a row. And I'm like, I would have loved for that to have not happened. Okay, everyone got a brushy. Go outside. I love all of the animal models. They're all really good. 
I'll go find some wildlife and show you some of the more exotic models there are. Come, darling. Away to the store. Well, first let's pick up all our money. Yeah. Oh, the animal shop is selling, is having a sale. Sick. And you need iron. I don't know why you need iron. You run the flower shop. I can only presume you're getting more buckets. That's Wesley. Wesley stands there all day, every day, staring into space. He's fine. He's well adjusted. So this is Providence Village. It had the lowest culture rating because I don't really do stuff here. So I moved here so whenever I sell stuff, it will up the culture rating for this town because I'm using their shipping bin. Economy. But basically, when the volcano exploded, everyone who wasn't in their city behind a wall got... ...stuck. So they all moved here, which is just sort of in the middle of the map. Okay. Up. Oh dear, it's very snowy. It's actually be faster if I just run. Chat with your buddies, Lissa. So the problem with the Harvest Goddess telling us about the different types of weather is she'll say the weather is bad Everywhere there is, or any time any of the fields will be in danger. There is a f field in just about every place, and she doesn't tell you which field is in danger. She just says the weather is bad and the crops are in danger, but she doesn't say where. <laughs> However, the fences will protect your crops completely, even from this blizzard. You know, how f picket fences work. And she usually will reward you if crops in your field are protected by a fence from bad weather. Oh, there in the background, that's the volcano. Uh, it's actively still smoking. She's just fabricating her own drama. Yes, yeah, she really is. What do I have searched? Is that wheat or barley? That's wheat. Let me find barley again. Eighty percent sure the guy who keeps asking me for barley is running a microbrewery and just using me to f get his wheat so he doesn't have to do it. Heckin' Brendan. Oh, 
Where's the, there it is. Hello. I would, yes. Oh, no. No. Okay. Yes. I would like the advanced class. And I would like to use my reindeer. Because I'm not a part of your system. My horse is a reindeer. Compensating for a whole world of people weaponizing incompetence. I am the only person who's ever fixed a bridge in this entire country. Yes, I've done this three times? Four times? Three times. And I've come in second once. <laughs> Missed it. Oh, you... Ugh, so close. If I'd gotten that last carrot, I would have just pulled ahead of her. Thank you. Yes. All the horses and my reindeer. With a time of 53 seconds. I also had a time of 53 seconds. I demand a recount. She really did. Ooh, but I do need high quality board lumber. Ooh, and I got two of them. Deers at home. I'm not even going the correct direction. We don't believe in having a sense of direction on this stream. <laughs> have rye and barley in here. Oh no, I do have some wheat seeds. Hooray! How many baguettes do I have? Ten. Okay, I need five more.
yellow. I need to grow yellow tulips. I just, I feel like that's going to be a fall thing. Run down here and grab another wheat so I can fill out that last row. Is there enough room for me to scoot around? There is not. Hello, friend. Thank you for the wheat. Okay. No. Hey, when I do that. Oh, I didn't need to do that either. Fiddle faddle. Six beats will have to do it. Basically what I'm doing right now is there's a mutation system in this game where if you grow a crop outside of its normal growing season, instead of it just dying immediately, it has the opportunity to grow a mutation, so a different version of the original crop. And I'm just sort of planting random stuff in random places to see what comes up. Currently trying to farm for white berries, which appear to be a mutation of strawberries, yellow tulips, which are a mutation of tulips, and I think it's like prominence wheat, which is a mutation of the wheat. Yep, see? Oh, no, I have the plots in between because I just like how that look. I just prefer how that looks. <laughs> That's just an aesthetic thing. Nope, I just prefer the uh, look of it when it looks like this.
Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And egg. Oh, you need a material stone, please God, yes. actually milk the cow. The cow just needs to be milked. I'm a terrible homesteader. Hi, sweet bean. Yeah, I love the the livestock models. They are far and away my favorite of any Harvest Moon game. My beautiful children. They grow strong and powerful. you all come in as strawberries? That wasn't what I wanted at all. I wanted some of you to be white. <laughs> Mysterious cow toy from the early 2000s. there an r slash tip of my for toys specifically? I know there's tip of my tongue and tip of my joystick. all came in as regular strawberries too. Let's have all these strawberries now. Okay. Let's head 
back over here for a minute. The cheese is going to take forever to cheese. What did I need for the bigger barn? I know I needed grass because reasons. Silver and 20 board lumber. Okay. Oh, the dog! I remember that. Little bodies, huge heads. The dog, Nuff said. What a bizarre advertising campaign, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I do remember those. What a time. What a time, the early aughts. Hi, ponies. enjoying the fresh air while I wait for stuff to do. I need one more silver. No. Maybe. It's your crafting store. I'm literally right in front of it. Okay, good. Hello, sir. to this mine? We'll find out. I guess probably not. Stairs. Thank you. 
Oh, great. Okay. Now I just need to find the way out. It's not that way. Okay, I'll take another silver. Oh no. Nope. That. That. These. Yes. 21. Perfect. Please. So we won't quite have time to go get the sheep. Because as we all know, sheep turn into wolves after 7 p.m. Aww, our barn looks so nice! Let's take a look at the inside. Oh wow, this is so much bigger.
I will need ten of those. You know when you step outside and you immediately just oh She really does sleep like a sociopath. No one sleeps like that. No one should sleep like that. That, that. Double check. This is, these go to the same thing. Yes. Okay, correct. Okay, okay. Let's make sure everyone gets a snack. I may not have done that correctly. However, we have friends to acquire.
One of you is my friend, but I don't know which one of you. We'll fr we're gonna find out. Hello. I think it might be you. That was incorrect. All right, third time's a lady. No, I do want to take sheep home with me, please. Yes. Call this dreamer after daydreamer 93, I think is in my list. One more friend to grab. But I know where this friend is. And I'll call the llama Jester for Jester Man 999. Hello. Yes, sheep wool. No, this way, you can all go back outside. I gotta uh, check on my strobs. Oh, and that quest is also here. One level up. There we go. I did. Working so fast, it's been like half a year. Hooray. 15th day of winter. 8 to 11 beautiful moment with my loved ones. Let me guess, you want five baguettes, three butter, and three fried eggs. Yep. 
I'm a psychic. Yes, that is the reindeer. The like. Okay. All right. Hey, Kaimana, we got your your sheep wool for your new fishing line, despite the fact that I think that's the least effective thing to do. But who am I to tell you what to- how to live your life? I got it from a random wild sheep that I shared for the first time. High quality sheep wool. Perfect for new fishing lines. Don't give me a bunch of bamboo shoots for some reason. Yeah, sure. top up my stamina before I go back in the mines and start looking for silver and rubies again. Ready. Ready to go? Is this probably going to be iron? No. Oh, that was close. Aquamarine. Oop, silver. Dodge the rocks. Dodge them again because you hit the wrong button. Okay, that's all the silver we need for that other quest. I'm just gonna keep going down. See what I can find. 
agate. Dang it. Got excited. I thought it was the two things I needed. <gasps> no, still wrong. <gasps> Stairs. Oh, dang it. I was trying to avoid that as, hard as, as long as possible. Not fall into a pitfall. Would be great. Oh. Still not a ruby though. Avoid. A lot of plastic is blocked off. Avoid. And stairs. Awesome. Sort of like a checkpoint, essentially, in the mines. I believe the items in the mines will reset. Oh, uh, do you mean is it like procedurally generated? Yes, it resets every time. Oh, hello. Hi, poppers. I wonder if she'll still let me in her house. I know it's kind of late, but I've got the three raw silver ore you need for some reason. You will give me ten oranges. I will take your ten oranges. Bring them over to this guy. <laughs> Here's your 10 oranges. Now you can continue your research. It's really funny because there's another if you've played Stardew Valley, uh, there's a glitch, or not a glitch, a just, uh, I assume it's some sort of sequencing error, where Abigail, I think it's Abigail, will say that the amethyst you gave her is delicious because most of her gifts are food items and it just, naturally the dialogue tree will insert item you give her into that framework. <laughs> well, there is another character in this game who does the same thing. Who's like, this silver looks delicious. And I'm like, you shouldn't be eating it. Please, in fact, please stop. That can't be good for you.
Yeah, I think a lot of the characters in this game could fall under the umbrella of definitely a human. Alright, well this is where we're going to take our break. Everyone get up, stretch your legs, get a glass of water, get a snack. And we'll be back right in a few minutes. See you soon.
All right, we're back. I hope everyone got a drink of water, got a snack, stretched your legs. I made a coffee, as we always do here at the halfway mark. I have a, a teeny tiny bun cake as my snack. about that drank some water and fought off your cat cat feeling feisty okay so the star in providence is glowing which means we've done all we can do until we progress the story. Sweet and spicy. A little chai latte. we have hit the cap on culture rating I am forced to actually progress the story and I do have the items to do so I was just trying to up uh, Providence's culture level since it was the lowest of all of the villages hi buddies wondering what this llama does in prior Harvest Moon games, the llama will give llama wool. But it looks like if that is the case, the llama should be ready to be shared by now. My little sheeps. Little fluffy beans. Milk and egg. Well, it is nice that this place is a lot bigger. It makes it diffi more difficult to clean because it's hard to find everything. It's like a Where's Waldo of animal filth. Okay, I'm gonna leave everybody inside. And hopefully when I come back, some of that food will have been eaten. A letter! Two curved bamboo shoots. And you've run out of silver at the clinic. That's the guy. That's the guy, officer. I don't trust him. <laughs> I don't trust that he's, what he's using silver for at the clinic. I really need four more milks, but for this part of the story, I do have what I need. This, those, that. That going.
I have no idea why no one is eating that food. It's really why I don't use the trays. Okay. We'll go, we'll, I think, collect the last of our strawberries. And then we'll progress the story. Yep, these should be the last of them. Or not. Spicy Pet Kids. I mean, Sour Patch Kids does sound like the kind of company that would do, like, a roulette style candy where, like, some of them were sweet, some of them were sour, and some of them were spicy. Also, hello, Weebu. Welcome to the chat. You're always, it's always nice to see you here. My ability went up. My strawberry ability. Okay, so some of the food has been consumed. Yes, we um, reinvigorated their spring by transferring water from the desert oasis back to the spring. And their reward was to ask me to do more work for them. Let's head over to Martha's place. Let's give her some invigorating cold tomato soup. Hi, Martha. I heard you needed cold soup.
<laughs> the face one makes when eating a soup. Oh. Good. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Invigorating and cold soup are not a combination of words you'd use. If I'm having tomato soup, I want it hot, and I want it thick, and I want it creamy. And I want to dip a grilled cheese in it. Ooh, or have it with uh, cheese raviolis. That's really good. <laughs> this special water. This is my special water. It's a lot of water like it, but this is my special water. Immediately after the eruption. Ooh, are we getting lore? Can cause the river to be blocked, leading to the village to run out of water. Okay, this is gonna be my new problem. Kept producing water. Spring water kept them alive, even when the usual source dried up. Okay. I filled it up with different water. Oh yeah, we built them a pocket dimension to bring water from one water source to the uh, empty spring. I was hoping we were gonna build a fire truck. We did not. I mean, the rocks that blocked off the river. Should I, like, go clear that somehow? Where am I going? I really did. Teehee, yes indeed, Doc deserves some praise of his own. What is going on between you two? I have questions. And potentially concerns. You're an ancient immortal goddess and he is a child, I think. Or a robot. <laughs> She's never heard from me again, I just wander off. Oh, this giant bell in the middle of town is new. Oh, hi. Thank you. Can I ring the- why can't I ring the bell? I want to ring the bell. Let me do it. Let me guess, you have some sort of festival you want me to reinvigorate, often using a large amount of dairy product. And then you're going to want me to make you breakfast. Uh, yeah, who doesn't? An animal race? Yeah, you're the one who did the whole like horse horse race thing. I guess not, sure. Um, excuse me, little guy, please. I would like I would like to go, please. I would like to go, please, sir, ma'am, please. Let me I can't leave. Nope, I'm going the wrong way again. Mm 
There you go. Are you also hungry? I'm sorry. Outside, everybody. Now, do we actually want to go talk to Doc, or do we want to just continue to ignore the main story while we figure out other stuff? Also, why am I reporting back to Doc? I. He's a child. I guess I could do that. I probably have enough board lumber to spare for it. The thing is going to be square lumber. I need eight. Takes three, so let's go find 24 lumber. He's a surgeon! <laughs> uh, actually, I'll, I'll, you'll find, if I open up the menu, you'll find he's a robot! <laughs> I just noticed when I rotate him back and forth, <laughs> His sleeves flip. <laughs> also, the fact that if you look at when his birthday is, it's a bunch of question marks. But everyone else has like a season and a day. Oh, except for these guys, but they're like mythical creatures, so. Like smetals. Uh. Yeah, no, that's a robot. <laughs> Someone did bring up he could just be an orphan. I was like, I guess. Robots can be orphans too. <laughs> I've watched Pluto. Oh, I was looking for tuna. That's what I was doing before I got sidetracked. Let me to go back to the house and see if I have any bait and storage. Which, like, I guess... I'm not sure if that makes the relationship with the ancient all-knowing harvest goddess better or worse if the child is a robot. Cause does, does that mean the child is permanently a child or the child was never a child? So what's that recipe? Excuse you, you had me get you spicy celery and tomatoes. Spicy celery isn't even in this recipe. Oh, it, I can replace it with spicy celery. Oh, right, and I have all these to deal with. Hmm. Just gonna swipe some from that stack, because that's our house upgrading stack, and we just spent a lot of money upgrading our barn, so it's gonna take us a little time to... I wasn't even what I was in there for. It's gonna take a little time to recoup the uh, financial situation. Okay, and what do I need? 12 of these? Do I have fish bait? Do not. Okay. So I'll have to mix some more. But first. Hey Martha. Hmm. 
I'm sorry, Batman. Have I upset you? Wait, don't I have what you need? Yeah, it is. I don't know why you wouldn't trigger that before. I think that dialogue was a little messed up. I think that it got crossed with the horse racing dialogue. All right. Let's go look for mussels. Mussels, I think, are under forageables. I need mussels and gooey ducks. To fix this bridge at some point. Oh, it's the, there's a harp of spread on that hill. That's what's making the little alert sound, not an animal. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Again, this is probably my favorite area visuals-wise, but these hills. Oh, forgot there were gooey ducks up there. Seven Moon Hill. Sweet potatoes. And pink daisies. What you got? jack o seeds. Yep, you know, how those grow out of the ground. Ooh, this is also the place where like the spirit fox spawns. So I might say hello to the spirit fox. Fox like spawns on over here by the river. Oh, hello. 
You weren't what I was looking for, but... Oh, I thought there was one down here. Evidently there is not. This is the one I've pet before. Yeah, because I remember it was by a bridge. I was remembering the wrong bridge. Hi, buddy. Back to the matter at hand, which is looking for shellfish. Men in Zimograd. There's some over here. Doink, doink. There should be plenty. Yeah, there's a lot in that area. So I'll look at the areas that aren't there. I don't know how to get to this little spot. Okay, because of where the hills are, it's going to make more sense to start there. I'm going to run down the coastline. Hello, other spirit fox. Still curious if I'm supposed to get over there. So it looks like from the top, this looks like it should be over some sort of pass, and it's not, and I can't find the way down from up here. Because this doesn't go all the way down. This is just a smaller part of a hill. Okay. Two shakes. Well, we won't stay here very long. Oh, and that's the sound that means it's after midnight. Ha, oh, whoops. Yeah. Uh, force, like, I think they're, at least in the old games, it was called typhoons. And then blizzards and sandstorms in this game will keep your mount from moving at full speed.
Yep, and because there was bad weather, but I have a fence in that area, despite the fact that there's nothing behind the fence. Presents from God. Yeah, for some reason you move faster than your mount in, like, severe weather. Oh, a cutscene? Oh, it's just showing me that the village is doing better. Thanks to my interference in the natural order of things. At least I don't have to water my crops today. Fodder corn, fodder corn. Oh, now my well has a little hat. Thanks to upgrading the town. Hooray. Go. Believe that's everybody. And I think that's all the dirt. Board lumber, baguettes, fodder corn, five tulips, and squirrel. You were a child, what do you need lumber for? Very suspect of your motivations. Oh, right. So basically every time you set up a what is slowly appearing to be some sort of romantic festival with the towns. Oh, it's two wheat per packet. I needed more. I needed ten. Uh... The person who assigns you to get the items for the festival will then want to go on a journey and demand the same three items, which is five baguettes, three sticks of butter, and three fried eggs. 
and you can no longer progress the uh, cultural level of the town until you give those items. I do have plenty of tulip seeds. What she want five? Brandon wants just a tuna, square lumber, I need working on it, working on it, eh. The square lumber and the board lumber will be difficult. So nine and 12, so 21 raw lumber, raw lumber, I cannot talk. Kind of interested to see what the new uh, inventory is in some of these shops. Let's take a little jaunt into town. Colored horse. Hmm. There's actually not that much more here. Yes, I know there's a bunch of animals in the wild that I can't find in the store. I'm trying to tame a jaguar. It's just taking a while. Do you have anything new? Volcanic fertilizer. Ooh. You sell fodder corn seeds. Not a lot of them, but you do sell them. Oh, I'm gonna cheat. Are you just in your house? Have I never been inside your home? <laughs> Be concerned if I found jaguars in the store. Look, they're fine. It's very friendly. I know you have more problems, but I'm not dealing with them right now. I'm dealing with your first round of problems you demanded I solve.
I'm gonna have to go catch a tuna. What? Is this board lumber for me? Thank you. Now I can make food for the villagers? Sir? I'm gonna go now. the child. There's the child. Cannot believe. Where are you, Jimmy? I'm suspect of your need for all this lumber, but the game tells me you have a perfectly reasonable explanation. It'll be interesting to see if this town, since it's not like one of the already established ones, has its own like date festival. Ten apples. Are you the kid from the math problem? And if it'll also stall out at three for until I figure that out for myself. Or if this, because this town is fairly new in terms of the rest of the map, if they'll have a different thing. Slap ya. Okay, so I'll go try and catch tuna, I guess. Which has not been an endeavor I've been super great with in the past. But we'll give it a shot. See, the glowing star on the cultural level you can see in the corner there means that we can continue to like help people out and like gain favor with people but we can't progress the state of the town anymore until we give brendan his breakfast and he can go I, I don't really know what he's doing i think he said he's discovering new fish but i don't trust him Oh, I didn't actually make the fish bait, did I? Oh, dang it. I think to do the... Okay, I guess we have to progress the story, because if I want to make fish bait, I have to talk to Doc. Or maybe I don't. I wonder... If the people up here will let me do it. Yeah, he's like, I need this food for my long and arduous journey. Five slices of French bread, three fried eggs, and three entire sticks of butter. 
no, I can only make level 1B with you. I can, however, refine all of the metal that I have in my backpack. Okay. Well, it looks like I have to progress the story if I want to catch a fish. But I'm going home first. All right, now I suppose I'll progress the story. If I must. My dog will finally let me build a fire truck. Harvest God's Moth. Oh, this is my precious little sunbeam. His name is Vare, and I love him. Arrived all the harvest sprites. Thank you. Yes, I did. It runs back to full strength. You're still so small. Savage and unnecessary, Vare. Size. Okay. Heading to the volcano. He looked troubled. Yeah, I guess. I'll change my outfit if I'm going to go to the volcano. Okay. Oh, I don't even have any coconut milk with me. you doing, buddy? Hmm. This value. This could be dangerous. What are we do- Looking for you! Yeah. What? You are literally a child! I look so unimpressed. <laughs> what an expression. Dangerous and usual. Okay. More earthquakes, black smoke. Yeah, I've noticed. I'm curious as to think what I can do about a literally active volcano. It's your girlfriend!
every few decades? From what you've told me, it's only been one. Some water. Okay, that looks like a quest I can safely ignore for the time being. Oh, dang it. No, Doc is still there. Oh, fiddle faddle. Guess that guy's not getting his fish. Maybe I can do it with just level one bait? So for right now, I'd really like to just ignore the main plot. No, it's not one of these piers. It's over there. Make it my way downtown. Not necessarily say we're walking fast. Oof, that might have been a little far. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh. Yeah, okay, that was too far out. I'll pull a little bit closer. And see if one of these two will notice. Oh, maybe? No. Okay. Maybe here I'll be far enough to get their attention, but I could still get it in. Come on.
Ah. Yeah, it looks like that one's a little too far out for me to be able to get with only level one bait. Okay. Let's see if I could get this big guy's attention. Tuna? Tuna, yes, okay. Oh yeah, it's midnight, he's not gonna let me in his house. Critter crawl, buddy. Milk. All right, I think I gave everyone a little scritch. Snacks for everyone. Okay, now everyone go outside. So I can clean it up.
<laughs> yeah, compost. Oh, money in a letter. Five cherries. And a white mushroom. start getting those ready. Aaron, Aaron, please get off of Gamer Fox. Or hop on to Lissa Deer. That's fine too, I guess. Aaron, please, I'm begging you. Thank you. Are you acting out because you need attention? Have I not ridden you enough? Okay. Okay, I can disable the space laser. I have fish. Have fish. I have a gift for you. I know you like this thing. Now it's time to engage in critter crawling. Look at them all up there waiting for me to come over. Nope. Yes. Beginner. Yeah. Oh, they vanished. Oh no, the render distance just made them disappear. Yes. Welcome to the Critter Crawl. Guides their animal to the finish line fastest. Okay. Oh, he's got a kitty. Oh, she's got a corgi. <gasps> a bunny! And me with my little fox. Oh, oh, Lottie going. <laughs> Must have gotten second because I couldn't see what was going on.
Yeah, okay, I see what happened. I see what I was supposed to be doing. just get it over with. It's probably going to end with me needing some insane things to fix this bridge up here. Uh-huh. So y'all are just gonna, like, hang out out here until I do that? Seems right. Seems fair. Very normal behavior happening up there. Probably. Probably does have clamps in the sleeves. Oh no. I can just sort of cross off my list. So you know what I do need to do. So I need to go to the other village and see if Judy needs anything. Hey, Judy. Ah, there you are. Do you need help with something? Anything? Okay, they return for the silver. Ah, oh, eggs. Occasionally her requests get you multiple milks and every recipe that involves dairy in this game needs three milks. Might as well go take a peek down here. Oh goodness. At least the mine is right there. the only way in and out? Okay, I'm not going to deal with that.
Oh, avoid. Have a good night. I'm glad you enjoyed. I hope I see you again soon. Oh no. Really? I'm trapped. Where's my girl? There's my girl. All right, let's go home. That's going to be it for the day. We'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. Thank you all for coming. It was good to see all of you. And we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>